It's actually, in some ways, a pretty good segue into who I am and what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jack Geller. I'm with the University of Minnesota on the Cookson <coughs> campus, and I'm charged with keeping track of all this stuff. And uh, some of the stuff I'm doing you probably know about, and some of it you don't know about, and some of it we'll be working on together in the very near future, and let me go through it in that fashion. You, you know that we've been doing before uh, everything really started, moving towards implementation, doing all these surveys, actually probably a little over 4,000 of them, uh, in your 11 demonstration communities across uh, Minnesota, essentially for the purpose of establishing a baseline. Where are we at? So when we all get done, we'll be able to know how much we've grown. Um, in addition, as Bernadine mentioned, uh, we've been working with Robert Bell from the Intelligent Community Forum in New York. And you've participated in that because I'm sure Bill and Carl, especially in the, in the demo communities, have been on your case for getting this information about everything from venture capital in your communities to how many PCs are in your uh, high schools and, and whatnot. Um, and that's all done now, I think. I think we've, we have information from all 11 communities. In addition to that, we also collected lots of census data, business data that actually is online. And we're tying it all together to try to get a more complete picture of, you know, um, where you're at in terms of broadband adoption, digital inclusion, so on and so forth, so we can see how things move forward. Um, related to Mary's comment, though, now that you're all starting to uh, actually implement a variety of projects, we need to know what those projects are, what are the goals for those projects, and we're going to have to develop measures in some, hopefully, relatively unintrusive way that we'll be able to keep track of the actual outcomes, inputs, uh, on the activities you're doing in the community. Because at the end of the day, my job is to be able to answer the question, so what? We're doing all this stuff all across the state. To what end, so what? So some of, some of the so what the federal government wants to know, but really some of the so what we want to know. You're all going to be doing all these interesting things with seniors, with immigrants, with disabled folks in schools and all across the board. Let's be honest. Some of it's going to work great. And some of it, it looked good on paper. But I guess when we put it together, and you all have that experience in your everyday experiences. Some of the trainings will catch fire, and some of them, not so much, you know? But we know that's gonna happen, and at the end of the day, we wanna be able to say, you know, communities that do these things, boy, it really increases broadband subscriptions, and these things don't seem to show as much evidence. Well, the only way to do that is to be able to collect information on a regular ongoing basis. So just as Mary said, we're going to need to be able to create a new report on atomic learning and your use in, in your communities. As you develop your projects and as you start implementing it, I'm going to be working with, you know, uh, Carl and Bill and, um, you know, develop hopefully, and I mean this sincerely, you know, we don't want to bog you down in paperwork, uh, but we do need to be able to keep track of it so that at the end of the day, you know, we'll really be able to answer that so what question. So 